This week in science, we're at the famous steam clock in Vancouver, which doesn't actually run on steam and doesn't tell time very well, talking about time. That's because on June 29th of this year, the people in charge of global timekeeping documented the shortest day on record. Everybody knows the length of a day is 24 hours, or 1,440 minutes, or 86,400 seconds, only it's not. Ever since ultra-precise atomic clocks were invented, scientists noticed that the Earth's rotation is not constant. All kinds of things affect how fast it spins, like the tides, earthquakes, receding glaciers, even some human-made structures. The changes are way too small for you to notice day to day. Even the record we set in June was just 1.59 milliseconds off its usual time. But it does add up, and that's a problem for a lot of the networks and devices underpinning modern life. The internet, the global banking system, satellites, GPS, the power grid, all of it relies on global time and frequency standards. So starting in the 1960s, the world switched to something called Coordinated Universal Time. It's an arrangement where hundreds of atomic clocks in labs around the world determine how fast all other clocks should tick, and whole seconds, called leap seconds, are sometimes tacked on to compensate for changes to the Earth's rotation. Since we started doing this, the planet's spin has generally been slowing down, which is why we've only ever added seconds to the clock. But this new shortest day record is yet another sign the planet has started to speed up. And if that keeps happening, we'll have to consider removing a second from the clock for the first time in history. It's not clear what's driving this change. There's a lot of talk about something called the Chandler Wobble, which is basically just the shifting position of Earth's poles. That wobble has been getting less dramatic as the polar ice caps disappear, which might have something to do with the Earth's spin, but the jury is still very much out on that. We also don't know what impact removing a second from the clock would have on our integrated global networks, and big tech companies like Meta have argued the whole leap second concept should just be scrapped. In the end, all we can do is wait and see. Time will tell. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.